Good morning, it's Chad C. from C Real Estate here in Richmond, Virginia. And this week I have a question for you. What do you think is most important to consider when you're hiring a real estate agent to help you buy or sell real estate? Is it the agent himself or herself or the company they work for? I guess a good answer would be both and both should be taken into consideration. There's no question. But if you're to put more importance on one than the other, I would advise put more importance on the agent, the individual man or woman you hire to help you with your real estate venture. And the reason I say that is that by definition, us real estate agents, or realtors, are independent contractors. Because of this, you can find a real estate company that might have, let's just say, 30 real estate agents and you could interview 10 of them from the same real estate company. And if you were able to hire each of the 10, what you would find would be that there's a distinct program, a distinct way that your business is handled with each of those 10 agents. Now, within the framework of the company, there's no doubt that advice can be given, guidance can be given. There can be some certain company guidelines that have to be adhered to but at the end of the day, it all boils down to that man or that woman and how they choose to run their business, how they choose to market their properties, how they choose to educate or not educate themselves. And you can have 10 different experiences, very different experiences with 10 different agents from the very same company. So when you go to hire a real estate agent, I would recommend focusing first on that agent. Do they have a, a track record of proven results? Do they have some good testimonials they can give you from people who have worked with them? Uh, do they have a big web presence, something you can find a lot of information about that individual real estate agent and, and see where people have given them reviews? How do you feel with them when you interact with them? We're all different and we, we get along with different types of people and when you met with him or her, were you, were you comfortable? Were you, were you at ease? Did you uh, like the experience? Just pay attention to the, the subtle nuances in the way you, you, you feel. That certainly plays a part in it because you're going to be in a, a relationship with this person for a while where you'll be communicating regularly and, and working through the process. So I would say lean toward the agent. Uh, make sure again that they're up to date on education, that they care about their business, that they're passionate about it because that's just gonna yield far greater results for you. And when it comes to real estate companies, that matters too, uh, but not as much. I owned a national franchise for 10 years and now I'm the owner of a, a small independent company. I've been on both sides of, of, of that equation and certainly there's some name recognition that comes with the large national franchises. And we hear people uh, who lean that way because of that national name recognition. We also have just as many people lean the way of a small independent company, uh, thinking that they'll receive more personalized attention, more uh, focused attention, which may or may not be the truth. It's all gonna boil down to the agent you choose. That agent could be within a large national franchise network and provide poor or excellent service to you. That agent could be a, a one man or one woman operation with a small company not many people have heard of and can deliver poor or exceptional service to you. So dig deep on the agent you hire and if you do your homework, you'll have good results. I'm Chad with C Real Estate here in Richmond, Virginia and we'd love to help if we ever can.